thread the needle with green yarn. And tie a knot at the end. Sew some running stitches with the corresponding yarn as blushes on rounds 2 to 3 of the body. Below the eyes, do like this. The blushes are completed. Tie a knot with the yarn tail for fixation. Cut off excess end. Take out the arms. Thread the longer yarn tail of the arm through the needle. Check the position. We'll sew the arms to either side of the body on rounds 5 to 6. Here is round 1. Repeat a few more stitches for fixation. Pull the yarn tail out. And tie a knot in this way. Finally, cut the yarn tail short. Hide the yarn tail inside the fabric. Do the same to the other yarn tail.
simply sew up the other arm in the same way on your own one. Bilateral symmetry. Two arms are sewn up. Tear the fiber field to make it fluffy. And then stuff the body with fiber field. Then use the yarn tail of the body to sew up the bottom part. Flatten the fabric and sew up the bottom of the body with stitches corresponding one by one. Then conceal the yarn tail inside the fabric. And finally, cut off excess end. The body is sewn up. Take out the legs. Sew the legs and the bottom of the body. Thread the long yarn tail of the leg through the needle. And sew the leg under the body and the corresponding position. Conceal the yarn tail inside the fabric. And finally, cut off excess end. Do the same to this short yarn tail. The right leg is sewn up. Please sew up the other leg in the same way on your own. The mouth. Thread the black yarn through the needle and tie a knot at the end. Use the black yarn to embroider a V-shaped mouth between the blushes.
concealed the yarn tail inside the fabric. And finally, cut off excess end. The frog is completed. Please make the other frog with corresponding yarns in the same way on your own.